Okay. On the last slide, you should have circled the British in red. That would have been the one with the anchor, because the British are known for the navy. They're also known for the red coats, notice the gal in the red skirt. The French was the one with the red. See the red hat, the white and the blue. If you look real carefully at her hat, it's got the circle with the white and blue in it. So again, you have the, the tricolors, the French Revolution cropping back up. Um, the Russians were known for their Catholic orthodoxy, hence the cross. You go to the next one, um, you're going to see the Triple Alliance, including Germany, Italy, and Austria-Hungary. Um, the Triple Alliance is also known as the Central Powers. I mentioned in the last slide that Allies was the nickname for the Triple Entente, but this one's the Triple Alliance. So you got to know that, and you just got to be okay with that. Triple Alliance, their nickname is the Central Powers. Triple Entente, their nickname is the Allies. Alliance means a formal protection agreement. Each member of the Triple Alliance promised to help the others if they were attacked by another country. This meant they'd go to war. That's a little more than the Entente did. Um, but here's the thing. The Italians will switch sides at the end. Go ahead and circle the Italians in green, the Germans in black, and the Austrians in, in red, as it suggests on the slide. Go ahead and pause the video while you're doing that. And then I'll show you the answer to each one. Go ahead and unpause when you're ready to see hear the answer. Okay. So the one you should have circled in green is the short guy. It's kind of insulting, but cartoonists don't mind insulting people. They showed an Italian that is bald and a grown-up um, because I guess some Italians lose their hair. And some of them are not the, the tallest people in the world. Hence, the short Italian guy, too short to toast. The Germans, they're famous for their Iron Eagle and their helmet. Hence, the German is this guy right here on the left um, with the eagle on his head. The Austrians have like a little feathery kind of thing on the top of their military attire. And that's the one you should have done in red. Hope you got it right, but right or not, um, I chose those colors because during World War I, it was a key color in their flag. All right, that's it. Hopefully the video was a nice change of pace from the audios and it plays well for you.